Hey, what's going on guys? Dekuku here, back with another video. Oops, sorry about that guys. So today, we are going to be starting um, the tutorial series on how to use oop, Milky Tracker. So, if you don't know what Milky Tracker is, basically it's an, it's a copy or remake of Fast Tracker 2. Um, it's kind of based off of Fast Tracker 2. I've never used Fast Tracker 2. Um, but uh, just about a week ago, I got to Milky Tracker and... I really am quite fond of it already. I've only used it for a week, but I'm quite fond of it. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to load a sample and use the sample editor. Um, that's going to be episode one. Um, so to load a sample, um, first of all, you start with an empty project. Um, you, you don't need to do anything right now down here or up here. Uh, just worry about up in this right field here. So over on the left side is instruments, and over here is your samples. So um, click load, um, and a menu should pop up showing you your samples and everything um now it might take a minute okay so what you can do is let's just say i wanted to go to i don't know something um okay so let's say samples so let's go to samples and let's go to editor now i have lots of samples here um i'm gonna go to something like a kick drum hold on it takes a second um so let me go to acoustic kick and it loads there we go so now it's loaded here and watch this so if we click on instrument 2 we'll see it disappeared um it's still there it's just um we went to instrument 2 so it's saved in instrument 1 so let's now rename it as kick in instrument 1 um and that's what we can do there so then now here's how we use the sample editor so to get to the sample editor just press smped or sample edit make sure you don't accidentally click zap because that will basically reset your project I mean, of course, it gives you a confirmation, but still. Um, so, okay, here's our sample, and let's have a listen. Okay, so this is our sample, and uh, it sounds pretty good. Um, but um, let's say, so So first of all, you can zoom in and zoom out. Um, so here, let me, so what you can do is, so I want to cut off the tail end of this. Now, what you can do to do that is... Uh, right click um, then go to advanced and click volume fade now it'll say a hundred to a hundred when you first set it up but I've already done this a few times so there okay so now I've kind of cut off the tail end so it sounds a little better now let's say we wanted to crop um, just this part what we would do is we would left click and drag here and then you could click crop range all show range just like this um and yeah uh so that's what you can do um and volume this just allows you to make it uh louder quieter whatever um there's a loading sample there's saving samples um there's eight bits uh, you can uh convert your sample to eight bits i'm not going to do that right now um now some of this stuff over here i really don't know what this does um, I'm still getting used to Milky Tracker, so now everything I'm doing, I will know what I'm talking about. Um, well, some things I'll probably just assume, um, so just keep that in mind, guys. But a lot of this stuff, I do know what I'm talking about, especially with the sample editor, because it's quite the simple thing. Usually, anybody could get the hang of this. Um, the only reason I don't know about over here is because I just don't know what all this stuff is. Well, anyway, so there's that. Now... To close out of the sample editor, just, just press that button again. Now, hold on a minute, let me see really quickly how long have I been recording for. Okay, four minutes. So, um, now I'm going to show you about the instrument editor. Now, the instrument editor is a little bit more complicated. And what we're going to do here is... Okay, sorry guys, there's a little bit of background noise in the background. Um, but... Um, so this is the instrument editor, and you might notice that there's nothing here right now. Um, and first of all, what you're going to want to do is press this play button. That won't play the song. That will just allow you to play the keyboard. So now we can just play notes. But there's a lot more than that. Um, right here we have an envelope, a volume envelope. Uh, so click zero, and this will set you up a... This will set you up a... A volume envelope um, now of course you can change uh, you know certain parameters whatever 
Um, you can change how certain things work, whatever. Uh, there's panning. Um, over here, there's volume panning, fine tune, fade out, uh, which is almost like a delay. So here. So if we do this really quickly. See, we can see here now if when we press this. It's more noticeable here. See, you can probably hear it there. See, it loops a few times through that. Um, so that's how that works. And again, Zap will just reset your instrument. Okay, so you can set a start point and end point for loops. You can have your envelope on or off. You can add a point, delete a point, uh, turn on sustain. Um, there's vibrato. I used to think that this was an oscillator, but it's not. Um, you can uh, change relative pitch. So, um, yeah, and that's just the tip of the iceberg on how to use, um, that. So, anyways, guys, next up, I think, um, what we're gonna do is, so what you can do is, I'm gonna show you how to place notes now. So what you're gonna do is click at the beginning, and you'll see that record is on, and so that's what that will do. So, go ahead, and if you're doing this on mobile, uh, you can just press the notes on your keyboard over to the right, but if you're doing this on PC, I highly suggest you use your keyboard. So, press Z, and then this is for C, the note C, um, C4, so then you can just go ahead and do this, and oh, up here, this pattern and length. Um, pattern, this is pattern 0, and length, this is 40, so let's shrink that down to 20, and we can see what it did, it, it oh shoot, what did it do, what did my computer do, alright, oops, sorry about that, we can see that it shrunk it down, um, but what we can do is, if it does that, then, just here, you can easily, oh, can I select, thank you, so you can just click and drag, and then just, um, here, let's go ahead and deselect that. Well, not deselect it, but stop the menu. Okay, so then just press delete, and that'll delete your notes. So it works pretty good, and then you can just go back to the beginning. And then... Here, let's do the same thing. Um, there. And, uh, there's also my video that I showed my first song, my first real song that I made. And it doesn't sound bad. Um, so yeah, here. So there we go. So that's how you place in notes. Um, now there's a couple other things such as effects, but I really don't know how that works. Um, when I find out how that works, I will do a tutorial on that. But um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll go more into detail on things later. But uh, I think for a first episode and computer, please stop doing that. God, stupid electronics these days. Well, anyway, so I think that's about it for now. And, um, explaining this in under 10 minutes was actually not that hard, but here. So, to play your pattern, okay, so to play just your pattern, just press pat, um, and to play song, just press pr play song, and to stop, just press stop. So, here, let's listen. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, anyways, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and, um, let's go on to, uh, the next thing.